What's up, YouTube? It's your man Derek back with Wicked Discounts with another episode of What Sold on eBay. It's everybody's favorite favorite show that I put out here. That's what I've been hearing in the comments. Is one of your favorite things. You like to see everything that's sold and get an idea of what's going on and what things are selling for and things like that. Uh, I did a pretty good, had a pretty good weekend this weekend. I had a bunch of sales. As you can see in front of me, this is one sale, this is one sale, one sale, one sale, well, one sale. Uh, right now on eBay, if you check on certain cards, I'm running a deal. You buy six cards, you get four free, which I had one person take advantage of that. We're going to go over what he bought first. He got these ten cards, so I'm just going to wreck the set a second. Uh, he bought these ten cards right here. We're going to go over he paid the, uh, $9.98 for these cards. Uh, the first one he got was a 2017 Aurora Diamond Kings Nolan Arenado. Uh, the next card, he, the most, the rest of them he got were 2018 Tops Instant Impacts. He got a Victor Robles, a Jeff Bagwell, Francisco Lindor, Bryce Harper, Carlos Carrera, no, sorry, Corey Seager, Steven Strasburg, Mr. Ted Williams, Coach K. Big shout out to B. If you guys have any uh, Ted Williams cards, uh, hit up uh, Coach K at Big K's Cards and Collectibles. He's a big Ted Williams collector. And our last card that they bought was Yasiel Puig. So these 10 cards, like I said, they sold for $9.98, which is pretty good. I mean... He bought the buy six, get four free. So he, after PayPal fees were 59 cents for these 10 cards, which brings us down to $9.39. eBay's fees were eight eighty seven cents, which brings us down to about $8.52. And then shipping, uh, packaging for the, it's going to be going a team bag with, uh, Team bag, penny sleeves, and then I'm gonna put cardboard around it. That cost me about eight cents, so that brings us down to eight dollars and forty-four cents. And then the cost of the envelope and shipping is gonna be two dollars and eighty-one cents, so it brings us down to five dollars and sixty-three cents. Ten cents for the card. As you guys know, I value everything at about a penny, and that because you pull from a box, things like that. Uh, so that brings this sale down to $5.53. So that's a pretty good sale for us. And this guy got a Victor Robles rookie. I know you guys like the rookies. So not a bad sale. 10 cards. I, uh, I've got a profit of $5.53 for these 10 cards. Not very bad. Pretty, pretty decent deal for this stuff. Uh, our next deal we sold... Eight cards, seven cards, wait, two, four, six, seven cards, yep, seven cards for a total of $13. They got, he bought a 2013 Panini Select Troy Tolowitzki autograph, a 1992 Studio Heritage Series Jose Canseco, Wade Boggs, Carlton Fisk, and he also bought three... 2010 Topps Logo Man cards. Uh, Mark Teixeira. Roy Campanella. And our newest inductee into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Roy Halladay with the Toronto Blue Jays cards. Uh, like I said, for these seven cards, he paid $13. Not too bad. Got a nice little Troy Tolowitzki autograph in there couple Hall of Famers. Uh, the PayPal fees for these cards were $0.97, cents, which brought the cost down to $12.03. eBay fees were $1.23. Brings us down to $10.80. These are going to ship in a team bag with bubble wrap and a padded envelope. So it's going to be $2.74. So that brings us down to $8.06 for these cards. With our seven cents off for the card price, that means we made seven dollars and nine ninety cents, ninety nine cents, seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Sorry about that, guys. 
So not too bad there on that sale as well. So we had one sale where we made $5.53. Another sale we made $7.99. It's pretty good. I'll take that. Um, next up, we have this 2018... No, it's not 20, 2017, I'm sorry. Panini Ted Williams collection card. Again, another shout out to Big K's Cards and Collectibles. Ted Williams collectors. This one sold for $1.25. Not too bad. I like I say I sell try to sell most of my cards around the dollar twenty five range. I'm probably gonna have to bump it up a little bit with the shipping costs rising. But so this PayPal fees were thirty four cents, which brings us down to ninety one cents. eBay fees were eleven cents, which makes it eighty cents. I shipped this card in a penny sleeve top loader, which is six cents for me. I put a thank you sticker on it, which is a penny. The envelope is a penny, and shipping is fifty cents. So that brings it down to fifty-eight cents. So we made twenty-two cents on this card, which twenty-two cents adds up. After after the value of the card comes out, we made twenty-one cents on this card. Not very bad. I'm okay with that. As you guys know, I like to get these cards in the hands of people that actually enjoy them. Our next cards that we sold were a twenty sixteen tops. Calvius Samson rookie and uh, tops 2011 tops Araldus Chapman rookie. These two cards I sold for ooh three dollars and fifty cents. This one was a buck fifty. This one was two dollars. Um, PayPal fees were forty one cents, which brings it down to three dollars and ten cents. Our eBay fees were thirty two cents. Which brings it down to two dollars and seventy-eight cents, and fifty-eight cents for shipping. And a shipping will be in a plain white envelope with the stamp and top loader sticker, things like that. So that brings it down to two dollars and twenty cents for these two nice reds rookies. Uh, so two cents for the cards. So that brings it down to two dollars and eighteen cents. Not so bad there. Next up, we have a twenty twelve. 2012 Golden Panini Golden Age. It's a New York Evening World card number 10 of Buck Weaver. This card sold on our eBay Wicked Discounts eBay for $1.50. Uh, the PayPal fees were $0.34, cents, which brings it down to $1.16. And eBay fees, $0.14. Cents. That brings it down to $1.02. Two. And as with the rest of our shipping, most of the time, this is a this is a plain white envelope. You have I do leave the option to upgrade the plain white envelopes to a bubble for an additional cost, but free shipping in a plain white envelope with a stamp at a dollar fifty. So shipping was fifty eight cents. So we made forty four cents on this, minus the cost of the card is forty three cents. Nice little buck weaver card. Weaver, yeah. Sorry. I mean, just thought I had the wrong name for a minute. Uh, the 2012 Panini Golden Age is pretty interesting cards if you guys ever want to check them out. You get a variety of baseball players and things like that. And then our last card that we sold this weekend was a Rob Brantley 2013 top, or 2013 Panini Select Rob Brantley Autographed Rookie card. This is actually one of my viewers that I know bought this card, so I would like to thank him for that right now. Uh, thank you for buying this for from us and supporting our channel. I very much appreciate it. Uh, this card sold for four dollars and fifty cents. PayPal fees were forty three cents. This card is uh it's out of five hundred as well. It's hard to see on there. There we go. Uh, this PayPal fees were forty three cents. Uh, it came down to four dollars and seven cents with the eBay fees of forty one cents. It comes down to three sixty six. Uh, this did have free shipping on it as well, so I will ship this in a plain white envelope for fifty eight cents. So it comes down to three dollars and eight cents for this item. Uh, one cent in our collection, so that makes it three dollars and seven cents for this Rob Brantley autographed rookie. So with that being said. If we add up everything that we sold here this week and on eBay, 
Uh, we made $19.41, which is pretty good profit for us. That's not that bad. I'll take that for just doing this as a hobby. Um, and not having that many listings and stuff like that. We're just trying to get cards in the hands of people that would like them. So that's about, that, that'll wrap up our edition here of what sold on eBay. A uh, couple of things real quick I want to talk about and uh, real quick, just get them in here. Like I do, I usually do announcements and things like that. We still have our 250 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Find that video. I'm giving away three tops holiday boxes to people. And also this week's flip, this week's box break for our channel is up on eBay right now. It's 2015 filled access. It's uh, four packs with 10 cards per pack and four autographs. They're all no redemptions. They're all in the packs. They have things like Jerry Rice, Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, things like that I've seen. So we're just going to try football because the Super Bowl is coming up. Just something we wanted to give a try about. Also, I've, I've extended our free pack offer. You can get free packs of cards if you find my 250 video and say that somebody you referred somebody, like, say, Cleveland Card Connection say, refers you, say, Cleveland Card Connection referred me. So Cleveland Card Connection will get one pack of cards for every person that he refers to my website. We're shooting for the 250 mark. We'd I was I was trying to get there by last Sunday, but we didn't make it. We're at, sitting at like 232 right now, 233. So I'd like to get that going. I uh, also we have the five channel giveaway going on right now. Go over to Big Case Cards and Collectibles, find that video, comment all five after you subscribe to Lori Momet. Wicked Discounts, Lone Star Legends Cards, Cleveland Card Connection, and Big Case Cards and Collectibles. Go get your uh, subscribe on to them. And we can go find Big Case video, comment all five. Make sure your settings are in public so we can confirm that you are subscribed to all of us. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Don't be scared to hit that thumbs up as hard as you want. Hit that thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. With that, I'm out.